Well, Mike, they can expect a watchful eye from police inside and outside the pit. Uh, this game, less than two hours away from the start time now. I talked with uh, police and the folks here at Elder. They say the pit is always protected, but they are mindful of what happened nearby just a few days ago at the Panther Athletic Complex when bullets hit three people near the concession stands there after a soccer game. You know, they sent letters home to parents updating them on what happened earlier in the week, no doubt, also updating them about security plans for tonight. Elder has also been in contact with the folks at St. X. The incident was pretty freakish. It was just one of those things, a bullet goes up, it's got to come down somewhere, it happened to come down here. It, again, it could have been probably at, at least 1,000 to 2,000 yards away. And so tonight? Tonight, you know, one of the things is tonight, of course, we're a little heightened security. I think District 3 is, you know, again, very committed to us as they've always been. And we've seen uh, District 3 officers uh, patrolling the streets uh, near the pit here so far. And I'm told probably about eight police officers inside the pit. That's normal. They will have uh, officers from District 3 patrolling outside. They say on foot, you'll see a few in cars and also maybe some uh, undercover people playing clothes. Uh, police will also be at the front gate. Again, this is normal. They have a sign up there. You can't read it from here, but there's a sign that says that they have the option of, of um, checking you and checking your bags at their discretion, uh, but they, they don't want you when you come in here at the pit. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.